सो हे वॉट्स एन पी सी डी ईयर एंड वेलकम बैक इन अदर एक्साइटेड एल मे थ्री टूटोरियल इन दिस टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू रिक्रिएट द मिर्जापुर टू बुलेट सीन आई मीन दिस यू कैन सी दिस गन बुलेट सीन एंड इन द इंड टाइम आई डिसाइडेड टू चेंज माई आइडिया एंड आई जस्ट कम अप विथ दिस लुक एंड दिस लुक्स प्रिटी कूल फॉर मी सो इन दिस टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू रिक्रिएट दिस मिर्जापुर टू वाल पेपर और यू कैन जस्ट से एंड इफ यू हैव अ थ्री डी यू कैन जस्ट एनिमेट this as a camera you know you can animate the camera also so let's recreate this this is a series on amazon prime video and the part 2 coming up so bhokal hai <laughs> bhokal so let's recreate it so let's click here and make a new composition 9020 by 1080 and let's add a new solid element 3d apply element 3d effect Let's go to the scene setup and uh, let me. Uh, I have projectile weapons too from Video Copilot. You can just go and check it. Let's load these two bullets. So I will select it. Optimize mesh checked on and the size is pretty big. You can see according to the plan. So I will make the size around ten. Sorry, this bullet ten. Good. I will open this one also. Optimize mesh down the scale to ten. Pretty good. Let's move this both. in a group 2 fine i have pretty good bullets now i will change the material type so i will type the physical shader let me fix it so i will increase the reflectivity 100% i will turn down the glossiness increase the normal bump same for this one you can also change it uh, further so hit okay now let's create a new camera 15 mm is good let me transform reset layer solid and make it make comp size or layer size was different go to the scene set up again and increase this plane size to around 12 by 12 this is going to be our base make sure two sided plane is checked on and it's good now let me create a pattern i mean let me create the way how this bullet will appear on front like you can create any shape and if you did not seen my elm 3d pro tips i shared this trick on that video uh, and i will recommend you to go and watch it there are a tons of great and pro quality tips so let me make a base i mean the you know controller so let, let's create a new solid and this is going to be our control and let's go to the text effect and let's type to in this case the letter can be anything which you like i mean the name the logo or anything and control shift h to unhide everything and let's select this go to the layer auto trace and create a mask from this text so now i have a mask so i will copy this mask and i will paste to our control layer control v and now i will press m and i will change it to the subtract so now i have a layer where the shape is subtracted so now i will unhide elmi 3d and hide controller and go to the camera and enable it and now let's go to the group 2 because our bullets is in group 2 and now i will go to the particle replicator and change it to the layer grid and i will select the control layer and make sure mask is enable or effect and mask is enable now let's increase the amount you can see we are getting now i have to rotate this because our plane is flat but this is vertically stand so i will uh, rotate it so i will go to the group 2 rotation i will press minus 90 and is we done it it's pretty good now there are few issue we will fix it soon so first i will increase the scale and i will make the size like this pretty good so i want to make this little bit random and you can see the bullet uh, pointing downward which i don't want so i have two option either i can go to the scene setup and uh, select the bullets and you can just rotate them or i can simply go to the particle loop particle rotation and here i can just rotate them like this so something around 180 pretty good i will go to the group 2 particle randomization i mean particle random xyz i will go to the particle size and i will just make it little bit random and i will make the particle look i mean particle size to something around 5 and let's see is correct the you know this position i think this looks correct Now you can see this is very symmetrical so let me show you how you can fix it so i will go to the particle i mean group 2 shape option and here is a option called replicator effect and there is a option called scatter so i will scatter the x little bit and the g little bit just a little bit 
now it's very good and unsymmetrical i can increase the x and y to make them uh you know too much of bullets looks good or you can also scale the particle size so let's see if i want 8 and i want uh, you know less particles so this is good for now we can change it also later but let me down the size to 6 pretty good for now now let me recreate the two shape so let me randomize the shape so i will go to the particle replicator i mean particle look particle rotation and there is an option called rotation randomize so i will make them you know so i will randomize this something like this i can randomize the angles also it so looks pretty good for now let me go to the scene setup and select this plane and apply a you know concrete texture concrete and let's apply uh, any texture let me select this uv mapping box repeat and make it 12 by 12 let me see which so this is cool select this go to the diffuse increase the contrast increase the brightness down the saturation you can also play with the gamma and all and you can down the glossiness a little bit if you want increase the environment increase the diffusion and hit ok so it looks pretty good looks pretty good for now and i think the scale is little bit up so make it 8 by 8 okay now it's looking good now i'll go to the scene setup again and let's duplicate these bullets so i will duplicate this one and i will duplicate this one so now i have this two copy and i want to make them a uh, red so it's like they killed someone the killer bullet so i will select this and uh, first i'll duplicate this and i'll duplicate this one so select this and make them i mean just make it red and also the reflection should be red let's apply it here let's check it and apply the same bullet here also and you can also correct it anytime if you want and let's change it to group 3 so now i have a separate copy of bullet for group 3 so i'll go to the group 3 particle replicator and change it to the layer grid and this time i will choose the text and i will hide the group 2 so i can clearly see this and i will increase the you know size and now i will again rotate it so let's rotate the whole object so for the whole object you have to rotate the particle replicator so let's rotate it to the this style so minus 90 let's make it up a little bit you can just down the size also so let's make it 6 and i can go to the particle look rotation and let's make it 180 so now these are pointing upward and i can go to the randomize angle i mean the rotation and an angle and you know i can just randomize them i can just also down the scale i mean randomize in size and let's enable the first one so now you can see this looking pretty good and let's go to the render settings and enable ambient occlusion and increase the contrast and down the gamma to maybe one and i can just increase the distribution or just decrease it to make it something like this and you can increase the radius or decrease it so let's make it something like this and intensity it's up to you so this is looking pretty good and now the next thing is let's create a new light spotlight intensity to something around 100 percent let's go to the custom view and you can just check it let's duplicate this light go to the custom view this side and let's point this from this section so it looks pretty good i can just down the first one if i want and increase the brightness of this one and if i want i can just go to the render setting and enable the shadows and make it to the 4k or i can just change it to the ray trace shadows everything is up to you but ray trace can crash your pc which i don't want oh my god oh we saved before and after so i'm going to change it to the shadow mapping and now let's make it i mean let's enhance the look so i will go to the physical first go to the scene setup and let's load a hdri map so i will load any one so let's suppose i want this one go to the environment and make it two by two to repeat it so get some you know get good reflections looks pretty good and i'll go to the gamma and i'll make it two 
and it will increase the exposure or just decrease the exposure a little bit lightly influence is up to you so let's make it like this and now you can see the bullets are very shiny so the first let me add a new light and this is gonna be our ambient light make it to the 50 or increase the intensity and the second way to fix the you know there are very sharp reflections so i will go to the bullets and i will go here and down the glossiness a little bit of glossiness to everyone i mean every and now you can see it's pretty good and one more thing which you can do go to the render settings and there is option for call camera cutoff make it one so it will fix some of the cropping issues and right now you can see these all are intersecting each other and there are no options to make them you know don't intersect so uh, i cannot do anything for that and this looks good for me and the lighting if you want you can your lighting can enhance it a little bit more and there are a few more things which you can do you can just change the reflection to spherical to enhance the reflection go to the render setting and make it gamma 1 or make it 4 so everything is up to you so let's make it 12 let's make it 2 down the exposure maybe 0.5 everything is a game of trial and error and i am happy with the look now i can just create a new adjustment layer top of everything let's add a curse effect let's add the red and just bump the red little bit and i'll go to the blue and i'll just down the blue and i'll go to the green and i will up the green a little bit this is mirzapur 2 bhokal so the tutorial is finished and you can enhance and you can just experiment a little bit more if you want but this is the main idea how i created the you know this title so this is it guys thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me i am nps 30 and we will see you next time with a great tutorial thanks for your love thanks for all the patreon who are supporting me on patreon and this is it